Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Star Wars Black Series action figure of K2SO from Rogue One. K2SO comes with, well, what you see here. Just the figure, no accessories. But what a figure it is. It's got really skinny arms and legs and all that, but just as far as design goes, it's really cool looking. Um, let's go in for a closer look here so you can see, like, the head. Um, which I think has a really kind of nice design to it as far as like the articulation goes. A lot of these Black Series figures have a ball joint at the top of the head and the base of the neck. But in this one you can really actually see those uh, ball joints. Um, and then you get to the body, which I think has a really strong sculpt. It's got the uh, hinged kind of ball joint in the shoulders. It's got a single elbow joint with two rotations, one at the top of the joint and one at the bottom of the joint. Um, same thing with the legs. You've got the, the hinged knee with a rotation at the top and a rotation underneath the joint. Uh, the torso does have a cut to it and it does kind of pivot a bit. And uh, then the legs have the little, they hinge out a bit. It's a good look to it as far as the little inner piece that you can see there that kind of blends in when it's flush. And uh, there's no mid-thigh cut, but again, two swivels above the joint. And then we get the, uh, the joint right here at the... Uh, at the ankle, where you get the hinge, uh, it doesn't swivel above, but it does have a, a uh, secondary hinge on the side of the feet. Um, one thing about the feet worth noting is that it looks like there's a uh, like a toe flap thing, like it's sculpted in there, like it looks like a joint. That's part of the droid, but not part of the actual figure. There is no toe hinge in it. In fact, when you look at the, the, the foot from the bottom, you can see that there is no separated joint. Now, the quality of the paint job is where this figure really shines. You can see like the scuffing along the legs, uh, the kind of light silver against like the dark gray of the rest of the figure. I really like the kind of orange highlights right there and how they're a little worn in too. Um, and just a little bit use of like color and shapes, like the blue and white there, the shape there on his chest. You get the little shape there on the, uh, the back and the, uh, the red and white on the back there of his lower back. Really strong work. You can see the sculpting here in his torso, as far as like the design of his back goes, the little lines going around his shoulders. There's really good sculpting here as far as, you know, the design of this figure, the design of this character. You can see his little stomach area, the design of his chest work, just the lines going down his legs, and also his arms. I, I like the, the little separation of the little panel sections of his arms and his hands. I really think they did a great job with his fingers. Kind of reminds me of the... Uh, the Terminator a bit. Oh, also there is another articulation point there at the wrist. You have wrists that also hinge forward and back. Um, but yeah, I really dig this figure. There's not a lot to it. It doesn't matter because it's a great design of a, of a really, really cool looking figure uh, performed by the great Alan Tudyk. I'm going to give you guys a closer look at the head before we leave because um, I do think they did a pretty good job with the eyes. Uh, I mean, I know in the movie they kind of pivot a bit within the eye sockets. When you don't really get that here. It's just a white paint dot. But overall, the sculpt of his head, the mouth area looks good. I like the details within like his neck, the little paint scuffs there. All looks really, really solid. I like the posture of this figure. I like the presence it has on the shelf. It is pretty tall for a figure for like this series. Just over seven and a quarter inches to be exact. I love this figure. It's a great design. It's a good sculpt. It's well painted. What else is there to say? It's awesome. So thanks for watching, everybody, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all of that crap.